for the tutorial for today. Today is how to get a 3D model into Minecraft. Right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is export your 3D model into a .obj file. Uh, for those who don't know how to do this, normally on the 3D program you've created your model, uh, tap export and then there'll be an option for .obj. As you can see here, this model and if you've been watching some of our Games Defined videos, you'll see that this model's been fantastically given to us by Stake, who's one of my co-workers, and this is a .obj file. So we're going to get this uh, Massetti into Minecraft, because it was a file that was around at the time. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download a program called .obj to MC, without the dot, and uh, you're going to have to link it to where you stored the obj so here we go I've double tapped the obj file after that you can convert and click convert it comes up with this message you tap ok from here it le reads in all the geonometry I'm never going to say that lines of your .obj and converts them into a minecraft schematic and there we go, it finishes converting. And we'll have a good schematic. The next thing you need to do, and there's a bit of downloading, is to go into uh, the website at the bottom of the description and get MC Edit. MC Edit is a Minecraft map editor. And as you can see when it loads up, you can create Minecraft maps. And the fantastic function that I'm going to show you today is how to create a Minecraft map with an imported schematic. So if you go into create new world and from here uh, tap in creative and you want a flatland you can use it on uh, your survival map or load in your survival map this is going to show you how to do it from a basic world and tap create and then click save I can't say too much around there because I don't really want my, on my own computer to be thrown off. Uh, click OK to that. And then at the bottom you can see import. Click that one that looks like a crane. Find your schematic. So from here I'm going to go into where I stored my schematic. So now you found your schematic. Double click it. And then you'll come up with this in the game world. You can just tap where you find a good location. You can rotate, roll, flip, and mirror, everything like this. I'm just going to plop it down like so. And then afterwards, remember to click import, and that is very important. And it imports into your Minecraft world. Then press Ctrl and S together. That's Ctrl and S on the keyboard to save. After you've done this, close this off. I'm going to keep it open for now. Go into Minecraft, as you can see, this is the wonderful Minecraft go into single player double click the map you saved or press play selected world whichever actually works go into it and there we go the model rendered out into the game world you may have varying degrees of success depending on how detailed your model is this model is very detailed but quite flat so that some of the detail won't be replicated into your Minecraft world as I don't think <laughs> it would be quite hard to replicate it fully but you can see the full effect and you can play around with your models also it gives you a view of how to create a uh, flatland in Minecraft that you can play on that I'll be using definitely in the near future so that's a little preview about what we're going to do next on Games Defined so I hope you have a good day and that's been my tutorial for today subscribe and Please like the video if you do like and it did help. It does really help if you do like and subscribe. We need all the help you can get to make games to find a hopefully a success. Hopefully, we have been really uh, honoured by the support and the following we've been getting so far, and hope that continues into the future. Travel with us to time and space.